Today is Monday, September 23rd, and we started looking at something completely new in grammar today. Um, the expectation is that students should know their prepositions now and should be very comfortable at recognizing prepositional phrases. So what we're going to really be focusing on is how they're used in sentences. And so students got a set of notes today that looked a lot like this at the top. Um, one thing that their notes also had was the formula for finding a prepositional phrase, um, which could be on a quiz at any time this week. So when we look at prepositional phrase, we start by um, knowing and understanding that they can do two jobs. They can be adjective phrases and they can be adverb phrases. So we started talking about, well, what do we already know about adjectives? Well, we know that adjectives are allowed to modify nouns or pronouns. And if that's the case, then adjective phrases are also going to be used to modify nouns or pronouns. Um, these are a little easier to find because if you find a noun directly after it, if there's a prepositional phrase, that's probably what's describing it. Um, and we can also use these questions, which one, what kind, how many, how much, to help us recognize them. So if we look down at this sentence, this spider is a type of jumping spider. What students in class are doing will be highlighting their phrases. So of jumping spider is the prepositional phrase, and we want to figure out what's it describing. And so we could go through, and it should make sense with the word it's describing. This of jumping spider, spider of jumping spider, is of jumping spider, or type of jumping spider. And it is type of jumping spider. And so we were drawing an arrow to point to what the adjective phrase is describing, or what the phrase is describing. Um, then we had to determine, well, what kind of a word is type? And so we're always going to go through the same procedure to figure this out. We start by looking at, is it a noun? If it's a noun, we could say it's a person, place, or thing, or we could check it by putting the word a, an, or the in front of it. And since it says a type, then we know that it is a noun. And so if we look back up here, we know that nouns are just modified by adjectives. So this whole prepositional phrase is doing the job of an adjective telling us or describing the word type. We can do the same thing then when we look at adverbs. We first have to understand what do adverbs do. They describe verbs, other adverbs, and adjectives. The problem with these is they really can be anywhere in the sentence. And so there's not an easy, quick, and way, uh, quick way to, to recognize them. Um, here, these sentences or these questions work um, a lot easier in, in helping us recognize them. So if we look down at our first or a second example sentence, jumping spiders live in many places. In many places is the prepositional phrase. And I want to figure out what is in many places describing. Jumping in many places, spiders in many places, or live in many places. And it is live in many places. So we're drawing an arrow to show what it describes. Then we have to figure out what kind of a word live is. And our first check was to say, is it a noun? Can we say the live? And that doesn't make sense. So we look at next, is it a verb? If it's a verb, it's something we can do. Can you live? And you can, so it's a verb. And so we look up here, what's allowed to modify a verb? An adverb. And so this whole phrase is being used as an adverb. We also went back here and said, well, now that we know that a prepositional phrase can describe nouns, what was a prepositional phrase that we could add in here? Jumping spiders, and we came up with a prepositional phrase, jumping spiders with black and yellow spots live in many places. And so we could add prepositional phrases um, anywhere in the sentence to add more description. Um, and in this case, we're using it to describe a noun, and so our prepositional phrase would be an ad adjective. So what we're really focusing on is why does this matter in writing? Well, in writing, if prepositional phrases aren't close to the words that they're modifying, the sentence can't make sense. And so the example sentence here was, with eight hairy legs, the bird chased the spider. 
and if I were to read that, I would think that I was reading some type of science fiction mutation story, because that doesn't really make sense. It sounds like that Bird has the eight hairy legs, and so we have to move the prepositional phrase closer to the word that it's describing, and so that's what we did. The bird chased the spider, oops, with eight hairy legs. And so then we went through our process of recognizing where our prepositional phrase is. And it is with eight hairy legs. And so now I have to figure out what it's describing. The with eight hairy legs, bird with eight hairy legs, chased with eight hairy legs, or spider with eight hairy legs. And so obviously it's describing the spider. Now I want to look at what part of speech is spider. Well, I know it's a thing, so I know that that's a noun. And if I look back at my chart over here, what's allowed to modify a noun? An adjective. And so this whole phrase is doing the job of an adjective. And so in class we did some practice with this, and again, we want to remember that adjectives modify nouns and pronouns, adverbs modify verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. And so looking at our sentence, nearly 36,000 known kinds of spiders inhabit the earth. We're looking for first our preposition, one of those words that we had to memorize, about, above, across, after, against, along, among, and of is our preposition. So if I'm looking for the phrase, I want to find where that noun is at the end of the phrase of spiders. Now I want to see what's it describing. Nearly of spiders, known of spiders, kinds of spiders, inhabit of spiders, earth of spiders. And so it makes sense to say kinds of spiders. Now I have to figure out, is it a noun, a pronoun, a verb, adjective, or adverb? So we start with a noun. Can we put the in front of it? The kinds. And we can. And so since we can do that, then kinds is a noun. And if I look up at my chart, which of these words is allowed to modify a noun? An adjective. So my prepositional phrase is being used as an adjective giving me more information about the kinds. It's describing it. Very few spiders are dangerous to people. I see what looks like a preposition, and I always want to check it too. We've also talked about can be an infinitive. If it's with a verb, to run, to play, it's not a preposition anymore. It's an infinitive. Now, people is definitely a noun. It's a person, place, or thing. And so we do have a prepositional phrase. So now I have to figure out what's it describing. Very to people, few to people, spiders to people, are to people, or dangerous to people. And so dangerous is the word that it's describing. Dangerous is not a noun, because I can't say the dangerous. It's not a verb. I can't say, hey, let's go dangerous. It's not an action. And so it's a describing word, which means it's an adjective. And if I look up at my chart at what is allowed to describe or modify an adjective, it follows in this column. So my prepositional phrase is doing the job of an adverb because it's modifying an adjective. And so we went through and continued doing this practice. Um, we'll continue doing it the rest of this week, um, just following these same steps over and over. Um, so I encourage students, if they're having trouble with this, to come talk to me, to see me during ICE, and I will gladly help them.